Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I just wanted to show you guys my beautiful pink princess. <laughs> no, Ellie, <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit, sit. You know how to sit, sit. She has something hanging off of her face. Sit. <laughs> Ellie. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Keep going. <laughs> Look at her go. Ellie, come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Look at her coat. Whoop. Look at her coat. That's, that's what happens. That is what happens when I drink. <laughs> Ellie look cute. She has a bow in her hair. <laughs> She's just not a bow girl. <laughs> Or a coat girl. It's cold out here. And she got her other sweater dirty. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, if I seem the least bit grouchy, then it might be because I didn't sleep so good. Why didn't I sleep so good? You're probably wondering. Well, it could be because my bedroom was 180 degrees. 180 degrees. It was minus 4 degrees outside last night. And I had my window open, I had my fans on, two fans on, and it was still scorching hot. It was right here, and I couldn't see him because he was laying down, because the bird tried to take him. Are you sure? Yes. What did so you see? I saw a big giant bird fly low to the ground through there, but I couldn't really see it because the door was blocking it. See, when you say you didn't really see it, that kind of makes me wonder. And then Leo was <gasps> Ellie, you got your bow off. It's actually freezing outside, like freezing. But Sophie phoned me this morning and said that a bird tried to get our duck and goose. Our goose. Our goose. And I was the, carrying Lucy. Where was, oh, so you were. He was sleeping under a skin over there and Leo was here and I was like, okay. Come, come on. on. Ruby. Come on, Molly. Oh. Well, hello, pregnant mama. So. She's not pregnant. Oh, is that the baby? <laughs> I'm glad you're not pregnant. <laughs> well, hello, pregnant mama. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, that's her lunch side. So when you're, oh my gosh. Ellie, get it up. It's a tiny ponytail. Oh my gosh. She doesn't like the coat. No, I think it's the ponytail. She's used to wearing a sweater. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, pregnant mama. So what's super interesting about goats is that on the left side of their belly, that's where their stomach is. So this side of her belly, when it gets puffed up, it's he because he just tried to pack. It's because that's where they eat and it, their belly is filled up. And how I always remember and how people remember is lefty lunch, righty rut. So rut is when goats get bred. So on the right side, the rut side is where the belly sticks out when they are first pregnant, when they have babies. But nobody's letting me see the right side of their belly, but Mocha over here <laughs> is looking a, a little bit chubbier than normal. Let's see if I can show you. So this is the lefty lunch side. She hasn't been eating too much today. Go over to the right side. You see? All right, they both look the same, but you basically, no, oh yeah, so like that side, this side definitely looks a little bit bigger. So this is her righty rut side. That's the side she'll carry babies if she has babies. And this one, even too, you can see on her right side. Definitely, it's the way she's standing, but you can kind of see that she is looking a little bit pregnant, hopefully. <laughs> they all just want to kill me. When I was walking Ellie. through the barn to go see where Lucy was, all I heard was a stampede and it was all the horses running over there. They were all in this field. And then they ran from the bird? No, they ran to the round bin. Alright, well let's go show them what we found Molly, come here. in the top of the barn. Oh, basically, she gets rammed and she just... Sam is still sleeping downstairs and he's on that fireplace. 
He's like, oh. He's on that fireplace a million times a day. Like, I don't think he knows what to do with himself but build fires. And I keep telling him, like. It's so annoying because you have to get firewood every five seconds. <laughs> I know. It is so annoying. She should do flops on her side. It's like we it. are working so hard to keep up his obsession with the fire. He needs an intervention. It's so hot. I feel bad. Like, it's the only thing he has right now is to build a fire. <laughs> we are dying. Hey, I filmed a video for Elizabeth of him making a pizza. Yeah, you should send me that. Oh, I couldn't say that. Honest to God, though, it is too hot to sleep when he has the fire going. Dog. Like, it's cool downstairs where he is. So hot upstairs, I can't even breathe. Last night, I literally could hardly even breathe. My eyes are aching today. Like, you know how you feel like She's so fluffy. your that? eyes are heavy? What? That's how I feel. Look at our hyenas holding up. And we're doing so good with it. Oh no, you're all And I love the hay better like this. It maintains its shape way longer. Oh, there's a hole in here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's Penny that pulls and makes the holes. Where's the hole? Right here. Storm. Well, that, that already stitched up. Oh, yeah. Storm's in the hole. Really, come on. More about Sam later, because I got more to tell you. I you're always watching us. <laughs> Paparazzi. <laughs> you're probably thinking, hey, they used to be in the other field. Yeah, they did. <laughs> them up again. Oh, Gracie. That little baby, you should get her and bring her up here. Bring her for a little walk. Alright, so our friends were here the other day. And we showed them the up. Wow. We showed them the upstairs part of our barn. The wood, like, uh, it moved. Yeah, because it's windy. The door just flew open, no, too. No, the wood that I stepped on. I stepped oh. on it and went... Oh. It was, like, right there. Anyways, so when we were up here... They said, who made this nest? <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> there's a nest. <laughs> you guys are deeper and deeper. So anyways, right? it's like for sure the cat. He sleeps up here. This is he sleeps up here. I was going to take this oh, hay. Oh, it's like bouncing. Oh. And I was going to put it in here because he was sleeping in here in the summer. So we were looking at his nest and we were admiring it. Like, what a good job he did. Okay. I don't know if you can see that there's a big hole in there. But anyways, we were looking around, and then we saw this is his kitchen, <laughs> and we saw body parts. <laughs> so this is where he eats. We feed him. We feed him cat food. Sophie, what is this? How could it be an old chicken? We're the only ones. Look at all the feathers over there. Anyway, we counted our chickens, and we still ha we only have one red chicken, and we have it still. So then, when. We were out here. He was out here too. He was hanging out. I've never been over here before. It makes me nervous. I'm going to walk on these logs though. And you can see down there. Anyway, he was sitting over here licking his lips. And then we realized that this is his second kitchen. Because what would it be? Would it be a chicken? Or a duck? Or a what? what? Don't Ellie, don't you even dare try and jump out on the roof. I don't know, what would that be? Whatever it is, this is why he's fat. <laughs> because it's not from the cat food we give him. Come on, get in here. <laughs> we should do like a fun video up here with my grandkids. Like We could make a fun video in here. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in the barn is that our amazing cat made a bed for himself keeps himself warm it does look like a comfortable bed and i know he sleeps up here well, i want to sleep out here I'm never oh we have a light in here blankets in here super cozy come on hola hola Ellie. there we go She's like, I'm getting out. They're letting me out. This is your one time. My Molly. There you go. You got your mama. There you go. She's like, do you have a bottle? I just want a bottle. <laughs> Help, give me a bottle. So. There you go. She's like, um, in terms of our boy, he just has roundness everywhere. 
He's pregnant. His belly pokes out on both sides. My friend told me that our barnyard reminds her of the movie Babe, I think she said. And that made me so happy because I love a good barnyard like that. Like this barnyard just makes me so happy. Hi, Leo. They don't like pets, but... Let's see if our animals follow us and show up on this side of the barn. I just like whacked five dogs in the sand. <laughs> she really didn't like the sand. Come on. So this is Lola's first time really like exploring the whole property. It makes me wonder how much better she would do with all the goats if she was out in a big wide area and she was able to run away. Like introducing them in a stall is not so good, obviously. Come here, Lola. Yeah, she doesn't like the sand. I'm a baby, not if a goat. If you give her food, she'll be happy, even though she eats all day. No matter where she is, if she has food, she's happy. Come on, Lola! To the beat in the street, every hour, sing it like. She's such a good little follower. She follows Sophie everywhere. She sticks right with her. She teach her some tricks. It's never good enough just to sit on the bench when you're a goat. You always have to get up higher. <laughs> She's just sitting up there chewing her cud. <laughs> Did anyone notice Rocky just left? She, somebody found us. It's crazy. Uh oh, they're all gonna go stampeding now. <laughs> We're just sitting here playing with the goat, playing with the dogs, and all of a sudden, Crazy game walking over. Can you fix her blanket? You guys, we have finally, the guy is supposed to come within the next hour. Actually, he should be here. Actually, within the next two hours, the man should be here to fix our furnace, which means that we will finally not have to use this wood stove that we've been using all the time. It will solve all of our heat problems. I told them about how you have been heating us, boiling us out of house and home. Yeah, I like it hot. <laughs> oh, we don't. Anyway, he is walking really well. He, oh my gosh, Sam. <laughs> what are you doing? Use the walker. This cord is not safe either. It's the fireplace plugged here because there's no other plug. I think we should have nailed it up on the wall or something. I saw some comments today about how Sam should be having physio. He's definitely having physio. He saw physio in the hospital and this week I got physio. They, he saw physio and they gave him exercises to do. How are you doing with your exercises? Some of them are good, some are terrible. Some are hard. Which one's hard? Uh, lifting up my leg. Like, oh, I can do this, <laughs> I can do this before. <laughs> but I mean, sitting down is harder. <laughs> Well, maybe you should do it standing up. So anyways, he does have physio, so he will only be having it once a week. So that's the update for Sam. That's the furnace update. We're so excited. I'm so excited. Like our house is hot, so it could have been worse. We could have been a week or however long it was without any heat at all. So excited. Like he, how, I can't believe it. It's been how many days? Okay, watch me run. <laughs> no, oh, don't run. I'm not doing that. <laughs> But he is doing a fantastic. Trust the doctors. We trust the process. Sam has been doing everything exactly the way that they've told him to do. And he's doing well. I believe in him. I believe in you, Sam. Thanks. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way